In 2011, we filmed this video where we broke lit light bulbs in a couple of different ways. Some of the footage was really cool, and with the new cameras, I figured we'd have another go at it. For the targets, we found some very good open box deals on these bulbs. And for our lamp, we'll use this old macro photography setup that just happened to be sitting around. We're using an inverter to power the bulbs from this truck. We'll be leaving it running for most of this video, so do forgive the background noise. And to break these light bulbs, we'll be using a Walther Falcon Hunter pellet gun. This rifle shoots these 25 caliber pellets, which are reasonably large for a pellet gun and should show up well on camera. And it's definitely powerful enough to break any of these light bulbs. Okay, it seems like everything is ready, so we'll get the cameras in place and take our first shot. Well, that pellet sure took care of the light bulb. Because it hit to the right a little bit, the filament stayed mostly intact and was left to burn up in the open air. Most of the high speed shots in this video will be fairly low res because we wanted to try out some of the really fast frame rates. Some of the fuzziness was due to a physical issue we were having with the lens itself, which was making it difficult to tell if things were in focus. But I think some of the shots we managed to get in this video are extremely cool. So let's get that old light bulb removed from the lamp, and a new one installed in its place so that we can get back to shooting. This shot hit a little bit low, so the pellet is just out of frame. We'll go ahead and load up another light bulb and give it another try. This shot was filmed at a bit of a different angle, so you'll see the pellet coming through the light bulb vaguely towards the camera. Even using those relatively slow moving pellets at these very high frame rates, the whole thing is over so quickly because the bulbs are relatively small. So let's try an even slower moving projectile. Now we'll be using this KWA USP Match Airsoft Gun. We'll be using propane to power the gun, and we'll be shooting these 02 gram 6mm BBs. The pistol spits these out at around 400 feet per second, and a direct hit should certainly be powerful enough to break one of these light bulbs. Only we have to actually hit the thing, and I was having some accuracy issues. After correcting the hop-up setting though, we were finally able to hit the thing. Although in the high speed, you can see that we actually didn't hit the light bulb and we just hit the holder right at the base of the glass, which I guess was enough shock to break it. It's still interesting, but not quite the framing that I was looking for. In order to get more consistent shots out of an airsoft gun, you can switch to heavier BBs. In this case, we're going to go about as heavy as it gets and shoot these 6mm chrome steel ball bearings. These will also be moving even slower than the other BBs, which will hopefully give us a pretty cool high speed.
I think that shot came out pretty much perfect. Although hitting low down like that did make the light bulb pretty difficult to get out of the socket. Since I think we covered our bases pretty well as far as a single light bulb is concerned, let's go ahead and set it up so that we can shoot through two. We'll set it up so that we have two of these light bulbs in a line, and we'll switch back to the pellet gun to take care of them. At this point, we were out of those light bulbs. But luckily, I was prepared and had a couple more. These are more like globe bulbs, and they're a bit larger. So we'll go ahead and get two of those in place, and light them up first with electricity, and then with another piece of lead. And that's about where we'll end this video. We are now totally out of light bulbs. But we were able to get a lot of practice with our camera setup and later in editing the video. And I'm pretty happy with some of the high speed video we managed to capture. In the filming of this video, we had some difficulties to overcome, including our Panasonic camera locking up, which has never happened before or again, so hopefully that was just a freak accident or whatever and something I didn't appreciate the extent of until trying to edit the video, but with the dual camera rig and the black lines on the board in the background, everything got kind of screwy when we tried to composite the clips together. The two cameras were mounted side by side, but even that little bit of perspective difference can be a big deal if you have really specific markers like these lines. Because we recorded so many high frame rate shots, I really wanted to use the background footage to fill out the screen, but the lines were really distracting. So I got a little creative and ended up making masks for the background video of just about every single shot. Basically, I took the lines in the background and shifted them over to line up with the foreground high speed video. It was a bit labor intensive, but I'm actually really happy with the way that turned out. Once the post-processing is done and a little bit of blur is added to the background, it's actually not even that noticeable. If you weren't looking for it, I don't think you'd see it. This shot was particularly tricky and I even had a bit of glare to deal with. So when shifting over those lines, I decided to get rid of that glare and reconstruct the bottom of the lamp just to make things look nice enough to keep from being distracting and keep the focus on the foreground video. This video was a challenge to put together, but that means a lot of practice with the camera setup and the editing techniques we're using to put it all together. I also learned that the really high speed settings on the camera do have a place, and it's for close ups like this. Though with that said, the image quality isn't great, especially if the lighting isn't perfect. So in most cases I think we're better off sticking with slightly lower frame rates. But for this revisit of an old video, I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out.